also um i've asked some of my friends and acquaintances to help me get a job on your behalf wow. and so far they've given me very positive response so um, i'm sure one or two of them might come through very soon Wow, that's very kind of you. I must appreciate everything that you've been doing so far. Thank you so much. And as we got to the job, I'm very, very sure that they'll call. They'll call. <laughs> I'm optimistic about it. Good. Very just, soon they'll come through. I just really call for a job. I can't <laughs> wait to start working. Ah! <laughs> Baby! Look at you! Hi! Hi! Mm. You didn't tell me you were coming. I, I just wanted to catch you the way I just did. Catch me doing what? <laughs> How? As in, I don't understand. <coughs> On this. <laughs> don't mind me, that's how we communicate. It's okay. Mm. <sighs> I'm so glad to see you. Same here. It's been a while. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, this is my guy, Sonny. And babe, this is my bestie, Cynthia. Wow. And Cynthia is very naughty. Oh, really? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome to our home. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not naughty. Mm -mm. Well, let me be the judge of that. <laughs> you will take an eternity. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon. Um, so should I get a glass for you? Um, I came with business, so business first. Please, you know how I love business. <laughs> Please hit me with it. I think we should have it to our side. You like secret too much. I come, think come, 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 like come, 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 let me ah. tell you, you would love this one. I'll be right back. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't understand you. You're not supposed to have anything to do with a man after what Ibebu Nam did to you. Not at this moment. My life will not come to an end because Ibebu Nam did not treat me well. Hmm? And I haven't said your life should come to an end. All I'm saying is give yourself some time. I mean, heal properly before venturing into another relationship. I know what you're trying to say. But, girlfriend, trust me, this one is very different. Very different. Really? <laughs> yes. So tell me more about him. Um, I, um, I just met him, so I really don't know much about him. You just met him? You really don't know much about him? And you're in a relationship with him. Come on, baby girl, don't do this to yourself. I have learned my lessons. It will not happen again. Hmm? From all indication, I see that you're ready to date this guy. And I will not stop you. But please, make good use of your head. I will. So, what does he do for a living? Um, uh, nothing at the moment. Just at the moment. But I am trying to get a job for him. <laughs> Chisun, mm -hmm. I see that you are yet to experience the same thing you did with Lebunam. God forbid. God forbid it will not happen. Never. Ah, never. Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so, mm -hmm. let's go and have that drink. Can't you stay without drinking? <laughs> this life we only live once, and today is a free day for me, so let's go and drink up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, the business. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Evelyn. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I feel the same way, honestly. I've started missing you already. Oh. But it's okay. I mean, it's just a few days' journey. And I'll soon be back. Hmm? Okay, okay. See, promise me that those boys in Lagos will not approach you. <laughs> Did you just say that to me? How? You're so funny. <laughs> okay, fine. If anybody approaches me or as much as looks at me, I am going to tell the person that I am already taken. Good. <sighs> now, my mind is calm. <laughs> it's okay, please. I don't want to miss my flight. Shall we? Okay. All right. <laughs> no, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Don't miss you. Miss you too. <laughs> Do this here in her bedroom. It doesn't matter. Eh? Let's get down to business, please. Eh? To me, it does. Mm? It doesn't matter. Hold on, calm down. What is it? You need to get me something strong to drink. Why is that? It will put me in my mood. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Just sit down. Hold on. I'll be back. I'm eh? waiting. I know what exactly to bring. I'll take off my shoes. Cool. <laughs> You're here already. I know what exactly to do. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Of course. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> this is it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you like it though? I love it. Good. I love it. Good, good. I hope you're ready for what's coming. Of course I'm ready. See, Mr. Rod is ready to do wonder. He has been nodding. Let's get back to business, okay? <laughs> Devil's work, please. The devil has nothing to do with this. You did this out of your own free will and lost. It was your friend. She seduced me. Now I know you're a chronic liar. I'm not lying. It was your friend. She, it was, she was the one coming out to me. Really? You came for my friend and she told me about it. Why are you lying? No, she came to the house and she, she undressed herself and, and I jumped, I jumped into her but, but she was the one that came into me, you should be blaming her not me! You are still lying. No, no, lying is the last thing I would do to you now, to, to say to you now, please! Yes, that's exactly what you're doing! That is exactly what you're doing, you are lying to me! Look, I, I don't understand, are you trying to play on my intelligence or what? No, oh, okay, no, okay, okay, no. okay, you're not lying, right? You're not lying, just wait, just wait a minute. My God! Look at this. What is this? Are these not your chats with my friend? I even heard your conversation. 
your phone conversation with my friend the night before I traveled. How? How did that happen? Yeah, she's asleep. We can talk, we can talk. So how do we see now? She says she's traveling. But I don't know the actual date. So why don't you come when she has gone now? So you we spend some quality time together. Then you can leave when she's almost when she's done and she's coming back. Okay. Baby, don't worry. I, I will do everything to prove that I love you. Don't worry. Okay? Just now she leaves, I'll call you so you come, yeah? So we'll spend some quality time together. Don't worry, babe. I love you. Just come. Let's spend some quality time together, okay? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out when you come. Okay, I have to go now. I have to go now, okay? Okay, eh? I have to go now, okay? Bye. <laughs> now, let me shock you. There was no traveling arrangement. Really? I only did that so that I can catch you in the act, just like I did. Hi. You know, Hi. you are an embarrassment. No, no, please. Even when my friend told me that you were disturbing her, I thought she was lying. I even vowed for you. I told her that there is no way in this life you are going to betray the love I have for you. Please. You know what she said? I should stake one million naira. And she showed me your charts. That was when I decided to play the game. You are shameless. You are shameless. God. Be please. Please. It's the devil's work. Please. Please forgive me. If you send me away, I don't have anywhere to go. Please. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Oh, please, please. You blew it please. and that is how it is going to stay. Please, please, Get I'm begging out. you, please. No, 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 I don't have anywhere to go. Just so, enough of the tears. It won't solve the problem. I loved him. I loved him so much. I know. It's unfortunate that he does not love you. Why me? Why me? Why is my own always different? Why? Why me? It's okay. Don't do this to yourself. It's okay. But I told you and you did not listen. Now see where you are. He told me he was different. He convinced me into loving him. He made me see reasons. Reasons. Trust him. Chisom, at your level in life, you shouldn't believe everything a man tells you. But I can't keep living my life without a man in it. I can't do it. I know. And that's why I told you to do what I did. Uh -huh. Listen, that it worked for you doesn't mean it will work for me. It's a general principle. It can work for anybody. I don't think so. No. It's the truth. Just give it a trial. Okay. I'll try. But something in me tells me it will not work for me. Jisung, the only thing telling you it will not work for you is fear. I mean, what's there in telling a man that you're not ready to have sex with him until after marriage? You know, it sounds so easy when you say it, but in reality, it is not. I mean, a lot of men will not take it. <sighs> well, any man who does not accept it does not love you. 
That was very bad of him. Now you see why I said it is over between me and men. Well, in life, one only fails when they fail to try again and again. I am done. I am done with men and that is final. You mentioned Ibi Ibulam in your story. Tell me about him. <laughs> that one is, is a greater evil. If not the greatest. I want to know more about him. You are making me discuss things I vowed never to talk about again. Chisom, you still don't get it. What we are having right now is a healing process. And healing cannot take place except you are completely open to me. That is not supposed to be part of our friendship, you know. It is what friendship is about. Inconveniencing each other and dragging one another out of our comfort zones. <laughs> exactly what you have done to me. You have really dragged me out of my comfort zone. Speak to me already. You picked my call. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Why? Um, your phone rang more than five times. So I picked to tell the caller to call you back since you were not close to your phone. Who asked you to touch my phone? Huh? But I just told you your phone rang more than five times. I thought it was something important, so I had to pick. Yes. Have I not warned you never to touch my phone again? Have I not? Yes, you have. So? I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now listen, the next time you will touch my phone again, I will make sure you regret it. What is so special about your phone that you don't want me to go near it? Are you hiding something? What kind of stupid question is that? Hmm? I'm asking you! What kind of stupid question is that? Mbakwao. Using a busy word than me is what I will not take. Mba! Uh-uh! Are you okay? Why are you using a busy words on me? You dare talk back at me? Are you mad or what? I don't understand. What? Are you mad? Huh? Are you mad? Huh? How dare you? How dare you? You slapped me! You are still talking. No, you are still talking. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I guess I overreacted. Why do you keep doing this? Why? I didn't mean to hurt you again. I'm sorry. I promise you it will not happen again. That was the same thing you said last week after hitting me. To be honest with you, I didn't know what came over me today. Okay? But believe me when I say I'm sorry. Please. <coughs> sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry for causing you pain. And I love you. I really do. Okay? 
そう美味しいうん The girl that called you on the phone Forget about her I wish I can Then that is your problem if you can't forget about her You are cheating on me, right? I don't know what you're talking about You know exactly what I'm talking about I did not speak in parables On the contrary, I don't know What does she have that I don't have? Listen, I don't have time for this. She's I just came in here to be a nice person. I just came in here to apologize to you. As a matter of fact, I was trying to be a nice guy by apologizing to you. But I guess you don't want it. I don't have time for this. You mean he did this to you? Please lower your voice. Why would I lower my voice? Please. Just look at you. Oh, God. Uh huh. Yes, I did it. What will you do? Either you are a disgraced manhood. You are a shame to humanity. Is, is, is this how men treat women? What I will not take from you is to walk into this house to insult me. Do you hear me? I will not take that from you. What will you do, Ibe? What will you do? Hit me? <laughs> I'm glad you know what I can do. I'm glad you know me too well. So better watch your tongue. Watch it, woman. <laughs> Ibe, you dare not. You dare not because I swear to God who made me. Try it and you will rot in jail. It's okay. Jesus, it's not okay. It's not okay. If he was his younger sister someone did this thing to, would he be happy? Tell me! Cynthia or whatever they call you, can you please explain to me, how does this concern you? Huh? How does this concern you? How it concerns me. You want to know how it concerns me? Chisom here is my friend. And I will not watch you humiliate her all in the name of relationship. Who does that? I will advise you you leave this house and go and mind your own relationship. Like this is your house? Mind your business. Like this is your house? I say mind your business. Ibe, you are the most ungrateful human being on the face of the earth. A woman who feeds you, clothes you, shelters you. And all she gets is appreciation. Is you beating her up? Who does that? It's not your fault. It cannot be my fault. It's not your fault at all. Chisum. So you brought this thing into this house. What do you call a thing? To insult me. As of your house. I will leave. Oh, please leave already. If that's what you want, I will leave. But you. You see her face. If you don't want me to restructure your face, <laughs> huh? You better watch it. Watch your tongue. That's the worst you can do. Sorry. That's the worst you can do. That's the best you, don't you can watch do. Your tongue, That's the best huh? you can do. If you don't watch don't your tongue. Don't point your finger at me, even. If you don't watch if your you tongue. don't touch me, if you cannot talk, I will speak for you. What is it? I will speak for you. What is it? Like this. Watch your is tongue. that how they brush you up? Is that how your father beat your mother up? What's wrong with you? It's high time someone spoke to him, spoke some sense into him. What's your problem, Chiso? Let him kill two of us. I will die with you. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I know, I know. But that's what you keep saying. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when are you coming? <laughs> Who are you talking to on the phone? Um, I'll call you back, okay? Um, 
When did you get here? You must be very stupid. I overheard your voice from inside. You are busy laughing, smiling. I ask you again, who are you talking to on the phone? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand, right? Ah! Who are you talking to on the phone? You better start talking now. Who do you think I was talking to? You must be very stupid. Ah! You must be very ah! stupid. Answering my question, the ah! question. I repeat again. Ah! Who are you talking to on the phone? Ah! My kid brother. I was Liar. talking to my kid brother. Liar. You can check the phone. The phone is already broken. So you better say the truth now. You better start talking. Who are you talking to on the phone? You don't want to talk. Huh? You are acting up, huh? You think I'm joking? You better stand up, oh. Good afternoon, dear. Good afternoon. How did it go? Um. What's that? My lab result. Nothing stops you from telling me the content of the letter. I am pregnant. Six weeks. Why? What do you mean by why? We did not agree you should get pregnant. But there is no need for any form of agreement. I mean, since we live under the same roof and we sleep on the same bed, if you ask me, let's just do our traditional marriage, since we're already engaged. When I give birth, we can now plan for the white one. You and who? What sort of question is that? Listen, I am not ready to father a child. Do you hear me? So you have to get rid of this thing. You just didn't say that to me. Of course I did. And you must get rid of this thing before Friday. If actually you're pregnant, that is three days from today. Do you hear me? Okay? It's a lie. He didn't say that. He did. What kind of a man is he? I honestly do not know. Eh? After having four abortions, he wants you to have more? That is what baffles me, as in the total disregard for my health and my life. I don't... Hmm. Chisam, are you going to do it? Yes. Chisam, please. Don't do it. The owner of the child does not want it. Who am I keeping it for? Even if he doesn't want it now, certainly he would want it tomorrow. No. I'm going through with it. Just I'm having a fifth abortion will expose you to health risk. Don't worry. I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll meet a, a professional doctor this time around. Is this guy using some kind of chance on you? No. No. Well, I think he's using some kind of charm on you because I don't get it. After four, you want to do another one?
It is done. What's that? The abortion. Good for you. The doctor said this should be my last abortion. Why? He said my womb is weak and more abortions will just expose me to health risk. Health risk? Like? I might not be able to carry another fetus. I've heard you. What does it look like I'm doing? You're packing your clothes. For the very first time in your life, you guess things right. Nice one. Are you traveling? No. So why are you packing your clothes? Because I'm leaving. I don't understand. Leaving to where? I'm walking out. As a matter of fact, this relationship is over. Why? Because I cannot afford to marry my fellow man in Yaris Fujo. What do you mean by that? You ask too many stupid questions and I don't like it. Please, just put me through for the benefit of the doubt. Alright, fine. I'll put it through. According to the results you brought, the doctor said your chances of getting pregnant is at risk, isn't it? Is that why you're leaving? Yes. Like I said, I cannot afford to marry my fellow man. So who put me? Who put my womb at risk? You did. Excuse me? Yes, you did. If not that you are stupid, you not allow yourself to get pregnant at every slightest intercourse. Ibe, why, why, why are you, why are you always mean to me? Did I do anything wrong by loving you? Why? Listen, this your crocodile tears cannot salvage this situation. I have made up my mind and I'm leaving. Okay? I stand here and cry all day. for good, okay? Now, on this particular one, I have you to blame. Why? The signs were there. How can you fall for a woman bitter? I loved him. Oh God, that makes me sick whenever I hear it. Which human being professes love for a bully? You ought to have left that relationship from the first time it showed the signs. But my love for him blinded me and I didn't even notice that he was not in love with me. Well, the deed is done. It is now time for you to chart a new course in your life. I will never have anything to do with any man again. I will never again.
give any man a chance to hurt me. I will not do it. Well, under time, my opinion is different. Same thing I said about Sonny. And look how it ended. Okay. Let us leave this discussion for another day. For now, I want us to strategize on how to handle the extramarital relationships of our men. Better still, we need to strategize on how to get them committed to these women that they lure into their beds. Okay, so how do you want it? What do you want? I have it all written down. I forward them to you. When you're done reading, you can share your thoughts with me. Fine. <laughs> I can't wait. What is good in the afternoon? Huh? Keep your greetings to yourself. Wait, are we quarreling? Oh. What happened now? You are pretending as if you don't know that we are quarreling, right? I don't know. Now, why did you report me to the king? The king is your friend. That's the reason I reported you to him. Or would you prefer I report you to your kinsman? You dare not try that. You dare not. Now, let me warn you. This should be the last time you will report me to the king or anybody. Report me to anybody and you see what I will do to you. Anything you see, you take. I don't even want to baptize with you. And if you don't want me to report you to the king or to your king's men, don't try that rubbish with those girls again. If you try it, <laughs> it's alright. Mm. Try it again. Go ahead and report and you see what I will do to you. Anything you see, you take. If you're hungry, tell me I'll bring your food. Hmm? I should not report you to the king. Then behave yourself. Hmm? You're lucky. I'll report you to the king. Next time, say to your case, man. You want that to see me? Hope all is well. Yes. Thank God. So, why do you request to see me? I am not interested in anything you are proposing. I cannot be clearer than this. You sound angry. So why are you ordering me to stop making advances at the woman I love? So your idea of making advances is going to discuss me with the Queen? I am sorry if my move got you offended. Listen. I did that because she's your best friend. Forget the idea of getting married to me. Forget it. It will not happen. Even the Queen will not change my mind about how I feel about men and what I think about them. I understand, Chisumu. But I tell you something. I am a different person. I also understand that you've been hurt by men in the past. Permit me to heal those wounds. I have not come for friendship, but to make you my wife. I am not interested. I am not interested. Don't you get it? But I love you. I don't love you. And I will never love you. So please. Stop disturbing me. Don't do it again. Please, I beg of you. But we can work things out. I'm a different person.
Why are you disturbing me? Because I love you. You cannot love me. Why? I belong to another man. Who is that man? You do not need to know because it is not necessary. There are serious made for that. Are you sure? Yes. Who is that man? Jim, Chi baby, Chi, where are you now? Eh? Eh, this is night. <laughs> Am I supposed to be there permanently? This is my house. I can decide to be anywhere. And right now, I have decided to be here. So what is your problem? I want us to talk. Mama Beatrice, not now. Why? As you can see, I'm prepared for a meeting. As a matter of fact, I'm running late. Don't worry. I won't waste your time. Mm. Then speak. Oh no, Utokanando, why are you doing this to our daughter? You heard me. What am I doing to our daughter? I mean, why are you chasing men away from her? Are you going to marry her? I am disappointed in you. I know you will be disappointed in me for saying the truth. Yes. But let me tell you, one of those men you are chasing away from our daughter will definitely marry her. So allow her to socialize. Oh no, allow my daughter to socialize. Allow her to socialize. Can you hear yourself? Idiot. <laughs> I don't know who talk, Ananda. You think my daughter is as loose as his father? Ah, uh, I'm Korea. What did you just say? <laughs> you heard me very well. So is there any need repeating myself? For the records, know that whatever I am doing now is for her best interest. With time, you will appreciate me I for it. I appreciate you for waiting. For what? Let me tell you if you don't know. You are acting like a proverb killer who does not allow anyone with a sword go behind him. That's exactly what you are doing, Makanobu Ma. Adekwe Like I said, mm. with time, you will appreciate me. Fuck, let me tell you, don't try it next time, oh! Don't try that on this again because if you do it, eh? Muna ya priya! Muna ya priya! Na wote ni kite! Pyo 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 mano! Because you are pyo 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 You think my daughter is like you! Because you are loose! You go for anything on that skirt and blouse! Anything on your gown! You pyo ma! Pyo! Try it next time! You know the stuff I made of. 
Can you like a boy in car? When you're pure, I shall walk it, or no watching gum, or no woman, or no women on a blue skate. Hi. Okay. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Eh? I guess you thought I was joking, right? You are not supposed to come here now. Is it not about the car? Eh? Oh, yeah, go inside, go inside. Go inside the car. What is happening? One of Papa's side chicks came to see him right here in our house, Mama. It is not a lie. I am telling you what is happening out there. Here in the compound. I couldn't believe my eyes. Come and see, Mama. What? Where is she? Ah. Where are they now? Where are they? Mama? I really saw them. I saw them, Mama. I did. Beatrice, were you sleeping? Huh? Because it's very obvious you were dreaming and upon waking up you thought it's reality. No, Mama, I was not dreaming. Please don't think I'm crazy. Mama, I... I saw them with my own eyes. They listen. were even arguing, Mama. I. I saw them here now. Next time, Beatrice, before you give me this kind of information, verify very well, dreamer. Mama, I'm not, I'm not making things up. I. Hey, B, my love, mm -hmm. the sweetest girl I have ever been. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. This one in my shop today. What can I do for you? Lots of things, dear. A lot. All right, bring it on. <sighs> Why have you been avoiding me? <laughs> because you don't bring light anymore. And light and darkness have nothing in common. <laughs> hey, B, hey, B. Do I work with the electricity company? Oh, come off it, Chief. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about? It looks like the men in Akama don't pay their side chicks anymore. You lie there. You lie there. It's only you know who that doesn't pay. Every other man. You see, Ichi Aika pays. Is it Akede? And I do pay, B. I do pay. Chief, I am talking out of experience. You do pay. The last time I was with you, how much did you give me? You gave me nothing less than peanuts. And See. coupled with the embarrassment your wife and your daughter cost me. See, B, that period I was fighting lots of battles. As in financial battle. But as we speak now, I assure you I'm back on my feet. See, about my wife and daughter, don't just... Forget them. They are now under control because they will never trouble you anymore. Never ever. I assure you that. I hope so, Chief. I hope it plays out exactly as you have said it. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Okay. So, how do you want it? 
um uh, we can just enter my own house one year just like a willow for one eh? and later we continue in my hotel room in the night i don't understand what do you mean take what here where Maybe my love always very strict i love that though thank you but don't suggest that next time you're welcome there you're welcome so um it will be later in the night yes later baby please do not disappoint me chief i've heard you i won't disappoint you i will see you okay all right all right bye bye thanks darling mm. <laughs> Look at him, old fool. No, after everything your wife and daughter has done to me, you want me to open my leg again. Let me jay so that you will enter this blessed man. A lot on your mind. I guess. How do you know I'm here? I saw you walking. So. It is true. How do you mean? Never mind. I had a dream last night. The man who fought and nearly killed you in the dream is my man. Huh? You know about my dream? Yes. Izu, I love you, and that is why I cannot teach you. Who is that guy that fought me in my dream? I just told you he is my man. That guy? You are man? Ha! I am lost. <sighs> he is my spiritual husband. But I don't love him. Izu, you are the one that I love. If I date you, he will kill you because I truly love you. I don't want to put your life in danger. That is why I will not date you. You are Obanje. Yes, Obanje Geo. All of you are calling me Obanje. Izu. Stop using a word you do not know the meaning. If you're not a banjo, what are you? What are you if you're not a banjo? I am not an banjo. Listen, we are told it is only an banjo that has a spiritual husband. I am not an banjo. I would have preferred if I were a Wanji. Okay. If you are not a Wanji, then what are you? Story for another day. Talk to me. Don't you see me as a friend? Tell me as your brother. Yes, talk to me. I may be of help. He's coming. Who is coming? He hates it when another man is getting intimate with me. You don't have to. That man? Which direction is he coming from? This one? Which direction? She be trouble, they see me. In younger go wake up. The dead, yeah, oh no, JJ. You go meet them. Come, they promise them. Heaven on earth. And what was that? Eh? Do you have to come to my house? <laughs> what, what were you trying to achieve? You already know why. So stop asking me. Okay, suppose my wife had met you. 
Huh? I would have told her everything, of course. And told, I would have even went as far as telling the entire community. Mm? So they get to know the kind of man you are. Really? Of course. So you want to ruin my reputation as you know who of this great kingdom? What, what would you gain from that? Eh? Oh no. The problem I have with you is that you think, I don't know, it's like you think I'm joking. Listen, what you saw today is just a tip of an iceberg. Mm -hmm. It was just a rehearsal. Uh -huh. We are going to see my real self the next time I come. Well, uh, it's alright. Uh, is it not about the car? Eh? Don't worry, I'll buy the car for you. Then get it already. Okay, what brand do you want? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> Well, get me any good car, you know, any good car for a baby girl like me, you know? You know what I like now? It's alright, um, you will get it by the weekend. Oh no, right. let your weekend be your weekend. Let your weekend be your weekend. It's okay. Because the next time I'll come to your house, hmm? hey, I will show you the stuff I'm made of. You don't need to threaten me, okay? You will get it after that. We'll talk more. Alright? Okay. I'm always open for discussion. Okay, good. You may leave. Okay. Mm, I'll be waiting. Mm? I'll be waiting. What does this girl want? Eh? Suppose my wife or my daughter had seen her. Okay. Is it alright? Is it not car? I will buy her the car so that I know that uh, her problem is off my neck. Uh -uh. I can see you are all prepared for the birthday party already. Yes, 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 yes. Where is the queen? She will soon join us. Did you inform her of this before now? Yes, your majesty. You have to go back and remind her. It is possible that she must have forgotten. Okay? Okay, your majesty. Quickly, quickly. Be fast about that. It is Akudo's birthday party. Where is it? Yeah, we choose this day to mark her birthday because of the wonderful things she has done in this palace. Just to compensate her. Really? So why wasn't I in the know this whole time? Don't worry, uh, I'm sorry, I will explain that later. Let us just consummate this particular moment. Ah! Here comes the birthday. Highness, Your Majesty. Happy birthday. Thank you. Can we now celebrate her? Please, step forward. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, who oh, spell your name? At the end of uh, spelling your name, which starts with O, um, you will cut the cake. So, shall we go? Okay. We'll start with the letter A. A K U D O.
what is what is happening? I mean, why are you, you know, wearing this sad face? I hope all is well. The question that should be asked here is, what were you doing with my girl in that hotel? Oh, excuse me, wait a minute. So, this drama is because of ordinary guy blocking the village road is because of a guy that is not a wife. Is that what you want me to understand? You call my special girl ordinary. No, Ayika, you opened your dirty mouth and called my girl ordinary girl. Uh, Do you know who that girl is? Oh no. Do you know how special that girl is to me? Don't ever try it again. Don't ever call her an ordinary girl. Is that understood? Oh, this is serious. I, I thought you were about to say something that will attract me. But I've seen you, you are not interested to say something that is reasonable. Could you please take this patrol burner out of the way so that I can peaceably move? Please. What? No, 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 no. What did you call my car? I... What name did you call my Range Rover Sport? Are you moving it or you want to see that Aika in me? I mean, how can Onowu of Akama be doing this in Akama. Blocking the village road because of one, 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 she called a little guy that is not your wife. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Aika, do, do, spare me that sentiment. Don't try to calm me down. Eh? Yes, spare me that sentiment. Stay away from my girl. Stay away from my special girl. If not, what I will do to you, eh? What I will do? As a matter of fact, I will dig your grave, I will carry you alive, put you inside, and bury you. Oh. So stay away from her. You know what? Oh, no, what I can handle. Do your worst. In fact, go to hell. And when you are ready to go to hell, let me know so that I will call the gatekeeper there so that you move freely and enter without stress. Ayika? Yes. You! You! Threatening me! Don't worry. I am coming for you. Be prepared. Now the battle line is drawn. Be prepared. No, 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 I will deal with let you. Let me tell you something. I have been trying to avoid that girl all along. But because of this useless taunt that you have pulled over here, I am going to renew all my activities with that girl and bet me. I will get her pregnant and she will give hey! me. You will do what? I will do that. You will get my girl pregnant. Are you trying me? Then be prepared to die. Be prepared to die. I will kill you. You are telling me. It's all right. No, no, no. We shall see. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, talk around. We shall see. You are threatening me because of ordinary girl that is not your wife. Is that what you are letting me know? You are making that threat to me. I can't. Cricketing ball. Look at someone who called himself a rogue. Making that threat to me. I can't. Cricketing ball. Come on, Abba. Look, 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 look at this. Hey, this man I'm running a joke with KJP and Kapono. Don't worry. Oh, you think I am wearing red and red for nothing? I don't need visa to travel to anywhere I want to go. If you don't know, look at this man. I made a mistake. I would have used my car to pull off that canoe you call a car. Don't worry. Next time, I'll show you why. Click it in more. Eze Akalugu of Akama Kingdom. What is the meaning of what I just witnessed? I celebrated Akudo's birthday because of her effort in my palace. And you had to personally get involved? In all your splendor, Eze Akalugo. My queen, I do not underrate anybody. I don't look down on anybody. Yes, she's a maid, but she deserves every right to be happy. So I celebrated her birthday. Just that, that nothing else. Why then was I not in the know the whole time? It was not planned, my queen. I got to know about the bed day, so I just gave instructions to my palace workers and the rest is history. They did the rest. Hmm. Your Highness. 
Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Something that Queen Asana of Akama would like to know. There is nothing Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom needs to know. I just celebrated Akuda's birthday because of her hard work in this palace and there is nothing more than that. Hmm. Are you now telling me that you have created an order where the workers' birthday celebrations will hold perpetually in this palace? I did not say that, my queen. But I know that every diligent worker in my palace needs to be celebrated. Yes, but again, it has to be according to the leading of my spirit. I work with my mindset. I am the queen. I know all of them. I see them all. I know all the workers I know who deserves to be celebrated and who does not. It is obvious from what you say right now that I have not been able to decipher her effort in my palace. Very obvious. Like I said, I know all of them. I see them. I know who is capable and who is performing on that capacity. Can we discontinue with this discussion? Akudo is too insignificant to dominate the headlines of my royal heads. Like I said, I know all of them. I know who deserves to be celebrated. I know who does not deserve to be celebrated. And you, my king, have no business with the maid. Can we stop this? You get into my nerves. I said Akudo is too insignificant to dominate the headlines of the royal head. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Sorry to say this. It is. The king go down with Akudo. How? Shh. Why your voice? What is the truth? How come the king of Akama do this? The king of Akama? As in, he's not human being or what? What I am saying is, the door is not expected to eat a bone hanging around its neck. There is nothing wrong with this. I mean, I see it differently. It's her luck. Had it been I knew that the king can touch a maiden, I would have seduced him long ago. I still have my doubts. How do you mean? None of us has seen Akudo and the king together. And besides, Akudo never mentioned it to any of us. <sighs> Izu, you called us out here, so what is it you want to tell us? Talk now, you are doing um, um, is the, uh, is the talk inside that um, what talk? Go ahead, oh. we are listening. Okay. I used to hear stories about such things. I never knew. It is true. Story. Just tell us the story now. We don't know the story. You are supposed to tell us the story. You are telling us you never true to speak. So to you. Say it. Oh, oh, okay. Let me start from the dream that I had. Yeah. From there, I will connect to what I'm about to tell you guys. Izu, the problem with you is that you dream a lot. And I don't like it. That's the only problem you have. You dream. Today you dream. Tomorrow you dream. Um, um, Abushi, Abushi. Let's calm down. Look at his face. Look at his face now. As we are looking at this guy's face now, both of us know and we are very sure that he has something very important to tell us. He can never, ever in his life be serious. He has nothing good to tell us. Don't you know that Akudo is very secretive? You don't need to see them together before you could decode that something is happening between them. Akudo must be feeling like the winner of the World Cup now. Exactly. Adeko. Izu, go ahead. What is it? Izu? Yes? Come. And you are going. I'm coming. Come. You come. My guy, 
This girl is not normal. Have you noticed it too? <sighs> she behaves like someone who is under the influence of some spiritual powers. <sighs> this girl must be possessed. <sighs> it's very obvious that this girl accepted Izu for a date. It's obvious. I don't need to argue with you. Yes. There's something going on between two of them. But did you see her beauty? This girl is so sweet, and I'm very sure that she's going to be good in bed. Look at the waist. The party and I analyze. You don't wear off, man. A piano, piano, no zier. You see the one I'm looking at you? You don't have sense. Why is your mind so corrupt? I don't understand. I don't blame you, I blame myself. Abushi, you know me very well that I don't take chances. When you see beautiful things, go for it. Grab it, take it. But and so, in all of them, make the yana a poor. I saw that one was he me. Mr. Chance Taker, Mr. Butier, Mr. Koya, idiot. Mr. Koya. Abushi. That is the own philosophy. More than this, more than that. Abushi. What do you think you're doing? I don't understand. You want to tell your friends about your experience with my spiritual husband, right? Yes, I wanted to do that. But how do you know? <laughs> Izu, I have my eyes on you. And no man born of human is meant to learn about my true identity through you. Unless you want to put yourself in danger. You are threatening me. It is not a threat. It is a promise that will come to fulfillment. Should anyone born of human learn about my true identity through you? Unless you want to put yourself in danger. Uh, 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 Chika, you shouldn't have told me this shit from the beginning. I am not good in keeping secret. Not to talk of this one that is scary. But I love you, Isu. Chica, please, honestly, I do not love you again. Because you are actually very, very scary. I know you still love me. But it's the fear that is not letting you say so. But I know the love is still there. Let me tell you the truth, Chica. Mamma Mulia, I can't do this. The love and feeling I have for you died the day I discover you are deeply involved with the spirit being. You don't have to be afraid. Everything has a solution, remember. You have the heart of a warrior. That is why you implored as a guard in the palace of Akama. Do not behave like an ordinary man who is not rooted into anything.
Terus kok gue? You you sounded so baffled on the phone. What is it? Okudri, my very good friend. All along, you've been telling me that beauty is seeing another man. Okay, why are you twisting words from my mouth? Eh? Why are you twisting my words? Did you ever hear me say that, that I should have seen another man? What I said is that beauty, your girlfriend, is seeing other men. What? What is what? See, I, Okudale, the son of Okati Igwe, the very grandchild of Iche Rapwoku, I do not shy away from the truth. Okudale, do you have proof? Proofs. You remember that day that I came here to tell you that I saw your girlfriend in a car kissing and frolicking with a man that you did not believe me? I went down and did some underground research. And if I tell you the information I got, if I tell you the kind of men that your girlfriend is seeing in this village, what, you will not believe me. What kind of men? Elderly married men. Okudri, it's a lie. Why would you link me to, to lies now? Eh? Don't you know Google forbids me from lying? See, any information I give you is authentic. Ah, Johnny! If I've been telling you, <laughs> you say you went down to dig up information. Whoa, whoa! Can you give me names? You want to hear names? Yes, you want to hear names. Oh no, is number one on the list. Ichaika, number. You see, the list is very long. In fact, I got information that Ichaika and Ono are beginning to fight themselves. You will not believe the cause of their problem. Side chick. Who is this side chick that they are sharing and fighting about? The woman you call your wife, your, 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 your wife to be. <laughs> hey! Okay. Okay. Let this not be true. Eh? Okudri, let this not be true. I swear! Let this not be true! See, if anything that I've said there happens to be lie. Eh? Let her join the mother eat and we couldn't name come for me. Who could you even swear? That is to tell you how serious I am. <laughs> you know I've been telling you this thing, but you will not listen, you will not believe me. Captain Thomas. I just watched Who is there? Come in. Look at you, beautiful angel. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon, my angel. What kept you so long? I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. At the point, I thought you weren't going to come. So, how are you doing? Chief, I'm not fine. What is it? I missed my period, Chief. How do you mean? It means that I am pregnant. Who are you pregnant for, my dear? For you, of course. But you shouldn't have allowed that to happen. You know, it's, it's not proper. It's not proper, you say. But I kept warning you. And you said it's sweet when it's hero. Now see, I am pregnant now. My dear, it's not that pregnancy is a bad thing. In fact, it is a prayer of every married couple. But it becomes bad when you consider persons that are involved and the circumstances surrounding it. I don't understand. I mean, it's good news for you to get pregnant, it shows you're fertile. But the bad news is, I am a married man and I'm not ready to have a second wife. Oh, so now you know you're married. 
But when you were eating me raw, you didn't know you were married, huh? So what exactly am I supposed to do about this now? You should know what to do. Anyways, before the end of today, I'll send you some money so that you can go about it. An abortion? Sure. It's all right, baby. So let's... Let go of me! I regret meeting you! Baby! Come back! What was she even thinking? Was she thinking I was going to get married to her? She can go to places for all I care. Let me call some other of my girlfriends. Yeah, I hope when she comes here, she'll come back. Please do, 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 do. Easy. You sounded so worried on the phone. What's the problem? What is the connection between you and the know? I don't understand. My question is simple, so don't even pretend that you don't understand. Baby, you know I hate it when people shout on me. Then answer me. Answer me and stop pretending. What do you think I'm doing with the old man? The answer is just to give, so give it to me. Well, if you must know, he's just a friend. So you've been seeing the man? Is it only the man? Is it only? Did you not hear when I said she's also seeing Ichi Aika? That the list is actually very long like a bed slip. These are just the names I've been able to gather. Is it true? <laughs> is that true? Yes. Uh -huh. What would you do? So you've been cheating on me, beauty? You call it cheats. It is not called cheating. I mean, I'm actually trying to maintain our relationship here. Take a good look at me. Can you afford anything I'm wearing? No. I mean, instead of having fights with you every time, I would rather prefer uh, taking money from Ono Wu and others than fight with you. My friend, shut up your smelly mouth. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your smelly mouth. See, you have no reason whatsoever to, to justify your immoral no, acts. I will not tolerate your nonsense. Did you hear me? No, one more word from you and you will see what I will do to you. Are you, are you talk mad? Don't to me in that manner. Okay, it's you. I will descend on this girl here. You know me. You know me. You should leave this compound now. You don't need to say I'm leaving already. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Look at her. She's a less human being. I have been telling you this thing. Eh? Calm down. Calm down. Don't, don't go and hit her and get into another trouble. Keep her. My happiness now is that everything has opened. Like everything is clear now and open for the world to see. This is not the same thing I've been telling you. But then it was as if there was something inside you that was remoting you. I would have called you, but my phones are down. Hmm? Oh my god. Baby. <laughs> How You're are welcome. you now? Hmm? How are you? I missed you so much. I missed you more, my queen. Hmm? Are you sure you missed me? I missed you. I'm so sorry. I went out to see a friend. Eh? Sorry for keeping you outside. It's fine, no problem. It's fine. <laughs> my baby. baby. <laughs> Come, let's go inside. I missed you. Missed you more. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go. Let me help you with your bike. Hey, my baby. <laughs> baby! I miss you. Where is Mama now? Hello. Ozemena. 
But the matter was the meaning of all this. You kept me waiting for quite a long time now. What's the problem? You should have told me that she's not ready. I, I will understand. You kept me so long. What is it? Hello? Hello? My adorable, always charming. I thought you were not coming any longer. You're always charming and so beautiful. That's why I choose to call you my adorable. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, I'm very sorry. I was actually caught by something not too important. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. No problem about that. Accepted. You see, all my life, no one has ever celebrated my birthday, but you did. Really? Yes, that's why I've come to show appreciation. <laughs> Before you do that, I have a surprise for you. Iki, your majesty. Surprise, surprise. You're far too kind. What is this one? Iki. So, it's true Akudo is sleeping with the king. Yes. How did she do that? I wouldn't know. Let's go ask her. No, she won't tell you. What made you say so? She's so secretive. From all indication, Ozemere here is the coordinator. Yes. And that's why whatever he does pleases the king. Ah, my dear Kudo. She's in heaven. Do you know that the king will do everything for her? Exactly. My dear, I just wish I'm in her shoes. <laughs> if you're in her shoes, what would you do? By the end of the year, I will build a house mm. for my father in our compound, custody of the king. Okay, wait, wait, for real. You have big eyes. What? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Opportunity, they say, comes but once. And when one presents itself, you grab it. Come, let's go. Honestly, I'm, I'm so happy to have you back. Same year, my queen. Mm? Mm? Uh, I enjoyed the food. Mm? You're still a wonderful cook. Really? Yes. Um, babe, I would like to meet your people. Wow. That would be nice. Yeah. So, when do you intend coming with your people? Um, anytime they fix, it will be okay by me. Okay. In that case... Yeah. I need to go to the palace. So when I'm back, I'll go and meet my uncle. So I'll give you feedback regarding the date. Mm, by the way, what's happening in the palace? The wind asked me to assemble young ladies to the palace for a meeting. Why? Like why? Ah, uh, I can't tell. But <sighs> it's part of her duty as the queen. It's that so? Yeah. Okay, so what time did she ask you guys to call? Actually, I'm supposed to be going there now, but I don't feel like leaving. <laughs> I understand. I want to mm -hmm. be with you. I understand, but since the queen asked you guys to come, you need to start going now. It's it's 5.55 already. Hmm? You need to start going now. Hmm? You need to start going, babe. Huh? Stand mm, up. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll be here waiting for you, okay? Make All right, sure stand up, you. stand up. Make move sure it, it, move <laughs> it. Move it. Move it. Evening. 
beautiful ladies of Akama Kingdom. Good evening, Your Majesty. We all know why we're here. Shall we proceed? Your Majesty, our men are so mean to us. All they want from us is our bodies. As soon as they get it, they discard us like the butt of a cigarette. Well, if you ask me, you cost it. But how? Because you took yourselves to them. I believe nobody pushed you or forced you. But they came as, fr as friends. They make eye-cashing promises that can sweep any lady off her feet. They trick us into this. Took us into confusion. I mean, promising us heaven on earth. And we as ladies, because we are in their need of money, we succumb to them. You're saying that what motivates your immoral lifestyle is money? Yes, Your Majesty. It is a hard truth I have to tell, only to the fact that they are married. And none of us here has ever dreamt of becoming a second wife, let alone getting married to a man old enough to be her father. The pain is, after having their ways with us, they don't keep to their promises. Yes. The problem here is we need them more than they need us. And that is why they continue to treat us anyhow they want. That line of thought that you need them more than they need you is absolutely wrong. The reality is, they need you more than you need them. I'll explain. Any man who has a side chick claims it is because his wife troubles him at home. And so to find succor, he races into the arms of his side chick who in turn cares for him, nurtures him, satisfies him sexually. Someone who does all these things deserves not to be taken for granted. And in addition to what the queen just said, you guys contribute 50% of a man's happiness and you make his world revolve around its orbit. So, you should be treated with some sort of respect. In all honesty, the side chick can be referred to as a wife. I say so because the side chick does virtually the same thing a wife does for a man. You are right, my queen. <clears throat> Even our tradition has supported the existence of side chicks, making men give themselves the nauseating title of Mwokeji Ezinono. Meaning that as a man, you are entitled to a woman outside, which is lazy, and a woman inside, which is no no. A man who cannot take care of the woman outside should limit himself to the woman inside. It's very simple. Oh, Your Majesty, you are opening our eyes. How are we going to do it? A stingy man is stingy only to a woman who does not know her onions. A stingy man who is unwilling to part with a dime will willingly give up everything in his possession to that one woman who knows how to get what she wants when she wants it. That said, use your tongue and count your teeth. I do not feel good the way my queen is discussing with the maidens outside there. My king, she's molding them into becoming responsible maidens of this kingdom. You think so, but I think otherwise. I feel otherwise about it. <laughs> my king, what do you want me to do? Go out there and find out exactly what my queen is discussing with these maidens. 
very important. I'm on it already. We know Fagamon, a modern way. She's a voice of the voice. <laughs> A woman of substance. Hey! Your type is not too. <laughs> Happy birthday. How did you know it's my birthday? When a man is in love with a woman, he goes all out for her. You're that woman that gladdens my heart. And you mean the world to me. But I beg of you, if you can allow me love you than this, you will not regret it at all. Once again, happy birthday. Come on. Go ahead, it's for you. Thanks for accepting the gift. Wait. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Um, you can come inside. At least let me offer you something. Well, that won't be necessary. I insist. Very well. Come in. How did it go? Your Majesty, there is a problem. A very serious one. What is it? You know who may have triggered the anger of the maidens of Akama Kingdom. And they are out to get their pound of flesh from the men. The queen has bought to their complaint. And the plan on how to deal with these men is the reason for their meeting. What did they know would do? Juno who could not keep to his promises. The promise he made to one of the maidens and she reported the matter to the queen. I know it will come to this someday. I know Ono who must definitely get us into trouble just someday. The maiden who briefed me said the queen has instructed the maidens to be strict on the men. Ha! I knew it! I know it is going to come to this someday. I don't know why Ono never wanted to get it right with these girls. I don't know what the problem of this man is. He wants to spoil things for us. My king, should I summon you know? Don't worry. Let the queen confront me with this. Then we take it off from there. What kind of question is that? Huh? You don't come to my house uninvited. Really? But you know I've been calling you and you refuse to pick in my calls. Then you should know I'm not in the position to pick your call. Oh, really? 
Why are you fidgeting? Huh? Nothing. Is everything okay? Everything is okay. Okay, but it, it, look, also. if it is about the car, all right, I have bought it. Ordered. Okay, so let's talk. We will talk later. Please leave for now, please. I beg you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Babe, you? you forgot to mm. pick these Baby. ones. Yeah, yeah, these are dead now. Huh? Yeah. I forgot to check one. Who, who is he? He's my uncle. He just came to check up on me. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How is the family, sir? Yeah, we're good. Uh, you're, you're welcome, sir. Mm, thank you, sir. Um, uncle, you have to go now, please. I, I cannot leave my boyfriend to come to the meeting. But maybe I'm going to call you so that I'll find out how the meeting went. It's all right. It's all right. Babe, I, I'll be inside. When you finish, your uncle, you come and meet me, okay? Okay, my love. <laughs> all right, uncle. <laughs> thank you, sir. My guys is the family. Right. Uh, thank you, sir. Hope you're enjoying the meal. Yes, babe, yes. <laughs> I'm coming. All right, sir. <laughs> So, this is it, right? Just go. I'll talk to you later. Plaza Hotel. You have to meet me there. Don't keep me waiting. Is that understood? Just go. Good afternoon, Archie. Are you okay? How are you? I don't think I'm fine, Angela. I don't think I'm fine at all. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Is you requested to see me? Yes, I did. Angela. Is it true that beauty has been sleeping with married men? Yes. And you didn't care to tell me? It's because I didn't want to be the reason your relationship of three years got shattered. And how long has this been going on? She has been into it even before you met her. What? Yes. But the truth is that she loves you. You can't say a thing like that. What kind of love is that? Love woman more conke mad. You can't claim you love someone and, and you're cheating on him. I can't. She loves you. The truth is that beauty cannot keep a relationship with a man for more than six months. But she stayed with you for almost three years. Her love for you made her remain in the relationship. I disagree with you. Angela, I disagree. A woman who does this kind of a thing cannot claim that she knows the meaning of what love is. No, don't say it that way. A lot is involved. A lot. A lot like what and what? She, she should be in a better position to tell you the story, not me. Be my love. Chief, Chief. Always looking beautiful. <laughs> Chief, good morning. Good morning, my love. Mm -hmm. So, shall we? We shall, Chief. But before then, we have some discussion to make. Ebi, uh, we can always discuss either in the car or even in the hotel room. So, let's be going. Chief, <laughs> come on. I know we can always discuss in the car, in the room, anywhere. But this discussion, we have to make it here. I be must it be here and now? Yes, yes, Chief. <sighs> okay, I'm listening. Um, Chief, you see, mm. you will start placing me on a monthly salary of hundred thousand naira if you must continue to get my services. 
and you will also get me an apartment in a developing area in Akama. As you can see, Chief, I've not bought new clothes for the past four months. You will need to change my wardrobe. Maybe you're joking, right? No, I am not. Okay. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. So, shall we? Please. You need to think about it here. Think about it, make a decision here so I will know if I'll close my shop to go with you. But I just said I'll think over what you said and get back to you. Okay then, Chief. We'll place everything on hold. So you will finish thinking about it and come to conclusion. Hey. My queen, why would you have meetings with maidens of this kingdom without my knowledge? Your Majesty, it's women affairs and I'm on top of it. I am the king and I should be on the know of whatever that happens in my palace. Yes, you're right my king and I was looking forward to briefing you about it. Convince me, my queen, why do you feel it is right to discuss with my maidens? Your Majesty, some men in this kingdom cannot keep their libido in check. They go around causing problems for themselves in their homes. Then they run outside into the comfort of the side chicks. These same men turn around and treat these side chicks with disdain. It is wrong and it must stop. And what is your business? You are the queen of this kingdom. And your major concern is what happens in this kingdom positively, not supporting loose cares. Or are you trying to let me know that you are supporting these loose girls? Your Highness, loose girls, so to say, are loose because there are loose men who patronize their looseness. You know me. You know how I am about the rights and privileges of the girl child. That is a cause that I am onto. These loose girls are no different from the girl child that I advocate for. Moreover, I am not ready to destroy any marriage by discussing this with any of the wives from this kingdom. Side chicks is not part of girl child. These are matured adults that can take decisions on their own. Your Highness, when I am onto something, I never back down till I see to it to the very end. These girls, like I said, are no different from the girl child I advocate for. But if you have a problem seeing them in that light, how about we see them as women of this kingdom who depend on me to mold their lives? Can I advise you? Of course, my king. Advise me. Abandon this project. People will misinterpret it. Yes, they will misinterpret it to mean that you are supporting loose girls. The onus of educating them lies on me. And I am not backing down on it. Asana, I know what I am saying. The women of this kingdom would not smile at this. They will think that you are supporting their men to go after side chicks. And you know what that means. Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom supporting adultery in Akama. Your Highness, I know what you're saying. 
and I equally know what I am doing. I will continue to be on top of it until I see to the end of it. Your Majesty. Oh no, there is fire of the mountain. Fire? Yes. On the mountain. Who initiated the fire? And on which mountain is it burning? Is it uh, mountain Everest or mountain Kilimanjaro? Oh no. I don't think that this is the right place to discuss about this. Let's go on. Ayika, calm down, calm down. My wife and daughter are not at home. Uh, yeah, so we can talk freely. Okay? Yes, uh, by the way, what will I offer you people? Uh, no. This moment is not for drinking at all. No, no, he's right. We have a critical moment hard to deal with. Hmm? Yes. This is not a good development for Akama Kingdom. I know it. Asana is going to rock this boat. How do I stop her? What do I do to stop her now? Oh no. What do we do? Uh, I think, uh, in my own uh, opinion, let's continue to do the biddings of these girls so that we will not fall apart with them. The enjoyment is supposed to continue. It's a two-way thing, give and take. Are you eh, Yes. What are you saying? No down. You want us to box ourselves into a corner? No, now, no. Look, let's not give them the impression that uh, they are more important, or rather, they, 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 we need them more than they need us. No! Let's let them know that they need us more than we need them. After all, we are the one who is, you know, paying for the vitamin giving. Eh? Let's book a little bit. Uh -uh. Truth be told, no, we need them more than they need us. Are you not listening? Did I say we don't need them more than they need us? I'm saying that we shouldn't tell them that. I mean, you can't be showing where you are vulnerable to your enemy now. Huh? Huh? Wisdom is needed in this case. Otherwise, we will all end up being the losers. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want to use my ears to hear that word loser again. I have already told us. Huh? Let us, you know, you some paper the thing, it flows like that. The other day, you, uh, uh, the, you know, the kind of enjoyment I was getting. Mumpia pim pim, home po po. And you want me to lose, <laughs> but I cannot lose on that. But I can, that will affect her finances. Imagine a better, a better. A better is requesting that I'll place her on a monthly salary of 100,000 naira. She even said that I will get her a, an apartment in a developing part of Akama. She added that I will change her wardrobe. Imagine Ebere. It's not as if I cannot dump her. I can dump Ebere and get another chick. But who knows the demands that other chick will come with? Eh, hey, Ayika. Ayika. I told you that we need to review the membership of this our oh, clique. Yeah. Eh? Okay. If you have a vitamin giver and you are not paying her rent, you are not giving monthly allowance, you are not changing wardrobe. So why should you expect to get vitamin? I don't understand. Thank you. This guy is too poor. Look, will you borrow him some money? The money ah, is there. I bought oh, a car for a, for a girl. Oh no, who just ordered chara chara car for one of them the other day. So the money is there. I don't know what you are doing with your own money. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that you men are saying this. If we do all their biddings, how then do we take care of our families? 
Oh no. It's still a bit in detail. <laughs> oh, I think uh, it's a very simple thing. Let me give you advice. Or, or us. If you know very well that you are not capable of affording the demands of this woman was, then face forward and face your wife. Eh? Mm. Eh, because I know some of us here, eh, I don't want, but your eyes there. Yeah. Leave us that are playing the corner kicks to go be moving around and be playing our corner. We're very good at that. Ah, and face your wife. As if, a professional if, if, that is, if that is the, the advice you wanted to give him, mm. why are you saying us? Because Let him go and face his wife that is already having oh. a flat uh, <laughs> infidelity. Eh? Then we now we go for the vitamin <laughs> givers, you know. When you push like this, you move again. I can't. <laughs> we are going to remove this. Guy we we, we will remove him. He <laughs> complains a lot. So stingy. Go and face there. your wife. When you are there, you oh, oh no, nah, sorry. Uh -huh. yeah, right. When you to pay. When they will be giving you your food, your food, your food. Oh man. Let me tell you something. Yeah, this is what we, we, those of us that were Catholic then, <laughs> who used to call it on our side, on our side, if I be very devil. But somehow, this is so ironic. Oh, eh? oh, we is. are the men who are supposed to be protecting these girls and giving them a, 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 a well a, a treatment in terms of morale. But rather, we are the ones, you know taking advantage of these girls and we are here planning on how to continue mm -hmm. to subcharge them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for, it's for Aika. all of us. Aika, even my room now. I don't, I don't like my room now. Like yes. I'm just thinking. This thing you are doing is wrong. You can't be speaking from this side of the mouth and speak from this side. Imagine. You are just like a rat. You, you eat and you blow. You were the one who said we should enjoy the vitamins. And now you are saying we, we should protect them, we shouldn't be spoiling them. Okay. If you don't want to belong, leave. No, it's not a matter of belonging. The other day, just very early this morning, I woke up, I saw one man preaching, heaven is real, hell is real, heaven is real, hell is real. Come, comes in here and sees me here. Baby, relax. You need to... Mama. You have nothing to worry about. I invited you here. Okay? Mama, Mama, I have everything to worry about. Mama, I need to, we needed to have seen the way he reacted the other day that he, he, he found me outside with Beatrice. How much more walking into this place and seeing me seated in his, a living room on his couch? Mama, he's going to be mad at me, please. Mama, forget his reactions. I rule in this house. Oh. Whatever I say, pack him on it. Eh? Don't worry yourself. Trust my mother. If for all I know, that man could walk in here with the cutlass. Please, let, let me just stay outside. My dear, I know him better than you do. So, coming in with cutlass will be when I'm not here. He cannot come in with a cutlass.